Last night, <clears throat> Sean King, writer for New York Daily News, released an article, a story about a heinous crime which happened in 2004. A young man by the name of Coprez Coffee was seen by two officers, that's Scott Cohonen and Gerald Lockwood. This young man was then arrested <clears throat> on suspicion of participating in a drug sale. Taken to an alley, taken out of the police car, forced to strip, and then had a screwdriver forced up his rectum by Officer Kohanen in the name of a cavity search as they looked for drugs. So, two of Chicago's finest decide that we're going to find these drugs. So they go get a screwdriver and they stick it up coffee's rectum. So just so you can understand and have a little empathy of why that is not humanly acceptable. I brought my friend. <clears throat> Unfortunately, he's going to have to take this demonstration so that you can have some empathy and understand why that's unacceptable for any human being to do, much less to officers of the peace. I need a screwdriver and a victim, and two police officers. Get your hands up, get your hands up. Oh, my hands up, my hands up, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot, I'ma comply. Get against that car, boy. Uh, you're under arrest for the suspicion of drugs. Officer, where, where are we going? That don't look like the police department. It's a dark alley, boy. This is where we take folks like you and suspend them to justice. What do, you, what do you mean, get against that car, boy? Longwich, get me that screwdriver out there. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. What are you going to do, officer? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm only 20 years old. Doesn't matter, boy. You shouldn't have had no drugs. We're going to find those drugs today. No, officer, no, no, no. Longwich, I don't find drugs up here. What's going on? Longwich, I don't see no drugs up here. What are we going to do? We can stop now. We can stop. All right. I think he's learned his lesson. Boy, your rectum had to take justice today in the name of the law. Was that too much? I didn't do it to be funny. A young human was taken to a dark alley by two police officers and had a screwdriver stuck up his butt in the name of keeping the peace. So turn out the lights and put yourself in the situation. What if this was your son and he came home with this story? What if it was your son? How would you feel? A young man was sodomized here in the United States of America and the two people who did it are not only still working the jobs that gave them the power to do it, they're making money off of your dime. Cost the city of Chicago $4 million plus the legal fees. Let the Chicago Police Department know that you're not gonna stand for this because it's just not right. No matter what side of this you stand on, what happened to young coffee was just not right.